What's going on everybody? It's October 19th, Vlogtober 19th, and it is a run streak day 16. However, I'm not running at the moment. We're getting a late start on the run today. It was super cold this morning and Inga wanted to run, but she didn't want to run in the super cold weather. She's not as crazy as I am. So we waited around for a while. It's almost noon at this point and uh, it's 45 degrees now or close to it. So it's warm enough for her. And we're gonna go head over to Somerset State Park, hit the trail by the lake. And we're off, we're off running. Don't know how long the loop is around the lake here, but we'll find out. If I had to guess, it's probably under two miles. And I wanna do at least four or five miles today. So I'll probably do a couple loops around. But aside from this paved loop, there's also little trails that go through the woodlands as well which I don't think we've ever actually even hiked on. Like there's one there. So I may, maybe after one loop, hit one of those, do a little bit of trail running as well. So I just wanted to stop and shoot a quick video here. I'm still on this loop around the lake but you can hop over onto this trail right here, which is a 10 mile paved trail that goes from Indianola to Carlisle. Um, I believe I put a video up of us riding the bikes on this trail. It's a pretty nice trail, but I'm not gonna be running on it today. But this is always an option, especially if I wanted to come here and get a longer run in, I can easily hop onto there. Still a little bit windy today, so I'm hoping I don't have that weird audio effect where I'm echoing again. It happened quite a bit in my footage yesterday. Okay, so we completed the loop, made it back to the truck there. And the loop ended up being 1.25 miles. So about a mile and a quarter, basically. So I am indeed going to have to do several loops today. Good news is it's not a bad looking place to run. So scenery's good. And I think on this loop around here, I am gonna hit that Riverside Trail and see how far that goes. That might even be an extra mile, who knows? We'll find out. All right, here we go, Riverside Trail. So, so far, the uh, Riverside Trail seems to kind of just run parallel with the road I was running on. It cuts into the woods a little bit, but on several occasions, you can just hop right back onto that road. It has little outlets going back to the main road there. So it may not add that much to my run, but it's quite beautiful in here. All the leaves have fallen, fall colors are out. There's the river apparently. The river's really low. You can barely see it even. But running through the woods is 
a lot more fun than running on the pavement, that's for sure. And uh, at least to this point, the uh, only thing you really have to watch out for stepping on stuff wise are just branches. I haven't seen any walnuts or acorns. Those acorns, especially the smaller ones in big groups, they will take you down if you're not paying attention. It was suggested to me by, I believe, veganpantry.com. I have to double check that. But they were saying that I should just make running videos that people can like run on the treadmill to. And uh, it's kind of what I'm doing here. So you never know. I may end up cutting my voice out of this clip and just uh, have music play over it. Just wanted to stop for a second so I can show the uh, river. When I was running there, you probably couldn't really see it, but this is the river that trail that the trail runs alongside. Just some sort of weird berry. Probably not edible if I'm guessing. We're a little bit over two miles in at this point. It's been a great run. I'm a little overdressed for the uh, 45, 46 degree weather, but that's okay. I can pop this coat off once I get back to the truck. But this trail is, is not bad. It's longer than I thought it was going to be. Because I want to say when I entered the trail, I was at around 1.5 miles or so. And I'm now at 2.07. And it's still going. So I'm hoping I can get at least maybe a mile out of this trail. That would be nice. And then there was another one called Side Pocket Trail. A little further up the road, which I may end up hitting that as well. Otherwise, I may not hit my four miles or five miles without doing like two more loops. I don't really want to do two more loops. All right, let the uh, running footage commence. Okay, well, that was the Riverside Trail. 2.28 miles at the moment, so wasn't quite a mile, maybe like three quarters of a mile. But it was fun, it was worth hopping off and checking it out. If I do end up doing another loop around, I'll probably do that again too, just because scenery is incredible in there. Also, if you're wondering where Inga is, she wanted to start a little bit after me because she knows I'm going to be doing a lot more than the one mile that she's going to do. So she uh, decided to wait in the truck for a little while, let me get my run started, and then she's going to start. That way she's not just sitting in the truck waiting for me for 30 minutes or whatever after she's done with her mile. Okay, we're coming up the side pocket trail. We're going to hit this, see what this is all about. I have a feeling this one's going to be shorter than the last corner pocket, not side pocket. My apologies. Okay, quite a bit shorter apparently. Really? That was it, huh? Where is it? That up there. Ah. Okay, here we go. That was odd.
Hey, look at that. Spit us out right at the truck. So I goofed up there. Ended up uh, forgetting to restart my watch. So I ran a good, if I had to guess, like 0.4 miles where it didn't record. So my run's gonna record is shorter than it really is. I'm gonna just tell Inga that I'm doing my one more lap here. That last part of the trail I was running on though, whoo, pretty hilly. Wasn't expecting the uh, ups and downs. Great leg workout, but really wasn't expecting it. <laughs> but that was a great trail. Better even than the Riverside one, I will say. Awesome trails here. You know what I just realized? I had my headphone in the whole time and never started my music. <laughs> so I've been running this whole time without any music, but that's a good indication that you're having a really nice, enjoyable run is you don't need that extra distraction of the music. I've been enjoying the trees and the trail. Even now on this paved part, the scenery is really amazing. So I haven't had any need for it and uh, almost done with my run. So I'm not gonna start it now. Okay, so I'm almost back at the side pocket or corner pocket. I keep calling it side pocket. Almost back at the corner pocket entrance. And I'm gonna take that again, but instead of taking the trail to New Ed Beach, I'm gonna go the other way, see where that goes. Okay, so that's where we came out before. So this is it. And there's the parking lot. We're doing a little extra credit here today. When I got back to the truck, I wanted to show Inga the uh, trails because she just stayed on the main paved path, but I wanted to show her how cool some of the trails were. That way I can talk her into coming out here a few more times. Um, so we're going back along the uh, New Ed Beach Trail before we head home. All right, so Inga got her mile done. I got my uh, four and a half miles done. Strava's gonna say it was like 4.25, but because I missed that trunk chunk on the trail there, it's probably more like four and a half or 4.6. There's the truck after a much needed rinse. Here at Hy-Vee they actually have pumpkin tofu, which we see on cooking shows all the time, but we can never actually find it. We found it once over at Gateway Market, but it was $8 for a small thing of pumpkin tofu, so it wasn't worth it. It's only $5.99 here though. We might end up trying that someday.
All right, so I just wanted to get a shot of the seitan after I sliced it using the uh, other camera so you can kind of see it zoomed in a little bit. But that's what the inside of it looks like. It's pretty good, pretty good batch. Didn't turn out perfectly, but a pretty good batch overall. Here is dinner tonight. We got some uh, sandwiches made with that seitan that I cooked up last night. Some toasted bread. I put some onions on mine as well. It's looking pretty good. And then to dip those in, we got our au jus sauce right there. To start though, I got a nice uh, side salad here like I usually have. Yeah, vegan French dips, there we go. All right, it's time to put it to the taste test. We got our French dip here, we got our au jus sauce. Mm. Wow, that's actually better than I thought it was gonna be. The seitan actually works really, really well. Look at that, look at that goodness right there. Yeah, that was definitely better than expected. We're we may end up making that again tomorrow for lunch, I'm not sure, because we still got a lot of seitan to use and a lot of bread to use as well. Either way, I'm gonna end the video right here. Thank you everybody for watching Vlogtober 19th. Hit the like button if you like this video and you wanna see more Vlogtober videos and you wanna see the run streak continue. Hit the subscribe button if you're not yet subscribed and you wanna support this channel. Hit the notification bell if you wanna receive notifications whenever I drop a new video. Until tomorrow, everybody. Take care.